Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Micah's 911 call that she made for Lumber River State Park mm. or at Lumber River State Park. And then we're going to listen to uh, one of the 911 calls uh, uh, that we listened to a little bit ago to do a voice comparison now. Robinson County 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hi, um, are you able to trace the location of my phone? Um, let me see. You don't know where you're at? A national park. What's the phone number you're calling me from? 843-655-5444. Um... Where's the park located at? In Bear Bluff. Hmm. Hi, Diana. Um, I'm needing somebody to go to my house, um, the house that I currently reside in. Me and my husband are separated. And since I was admitted to the hospital, I have been told that he's taken possession of my phone, laptop, and car, which are all in my name. How do I get a deputy out there to get those items surrendered over to be temporarily held until I get out of the hospital? Let's see. I have my location on, I think, on my phone. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear. Find my phone is on. I just did my share loan, my location. Okay, I'm showing. I'm told that he's taken possession of my phone, laptop, and car, which are all in my name. How do I get a deputy out there to get those items surrendered? It's more nasal. Temporarily. Yeah. Her real voice is more nasal. The one who's talking on the 911 call is not. And it's not Mike, I'm sorry. It's flat. The one in the 911 call is just flat. Well, I think they're trying to be flat, but if you listen to the tone of the voice, and remember I said we used to manipulate vocal to make it fuller and, and, and uh, you know, give it vibrato and all that, and you had to change even the sound of the vocal. So listening to her, uh, the 911 call, um, it's not as nasal as the one that's speaking from the hospital. Listen, listen, you'll pick it up now that I've pointed it out. You'll probably hear it. Yeah, it does. No, I, it does sound nasally, but I just attributed it that it could be a, a different environment too. No, I talk nasal. Yeah. It's just part of uh, her um, mom talks nasal. I've talked to her for hours. It's just see. in the family you know, her her mom on the phone actually I mean, I have sang for me that song, and she sounds, I mean, yeah. my, or rather the other way, Micah sounds just like her. I mean, I have nasal issues myself, you know. No, 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 we're not talking uh, about sinus, we're talking about that's just different. the nasal. It's a nasal yeah. way of talking. You remember the nanny? She practically talked out of her nose, you know. I hear uh -huh. that nasal sound in Micah's real voice, and it's missing from well, the 911 call. Let's see if this one has the nasal sound, too. Okay. Uh, Officer Wilson? How can I help you? This is another call. I'd like to do a wellness check, Officer Wilson. Okay, what's the address? Cold water circle. Where's Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. What is, what's your name? What's the call back to the school? Yeah. Go back a little bit. Yeah, I just want to make sure that that laptop doesn't end up in the wrong hands. Yeah, still nasal. Wrong hands. Hands. That's the nasal. Wrong. 
the tongue is leaning on the back of the throat. Let's see how people are saying it's even they can even hear it in her Facebook videos as well. Yeah, it's oh. a nasal thing. I hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've said from the very get go. That's why we started covering the cases because I didn't think it was her. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Per per per, you per baby, you Does parrot. She per box. <laughs> what? A strong per box because my my oh, cat barely. You know, she just quiet. started purring yesterday for the first time. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, you purr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you're just full of energy now, aren't you? Oh, oh is it going to? I don't think you are in Robinson County. Yeah, Lumber, the Lumber River State Park. In yeah, that's where I am. Okay. Tell me what's um happened of your emergency. Hi, um, are you able to trace the location of my phone? That's more breathy. Um, let me see. You don't know where you're at? A national park. What's the phone number you're calling me from? 843-655-5234. Where's the park located at? In Fair Bluff. Let's see. I have my location on, I think, on my phone. Okay, so who has the laptop with your pictures on it? Uh, it's in my home, but I currently have guests staying at my home that I could not invite. Them. That is not uh, the same person. Not the same so person. I'm kind of concerned that while I'm out of town, they might the use that laptop for. So now, it sounds like maybe somebody was on the 911 calls trying to imitate her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, We've that's said what that I thought from. Yeah, yeah, from the beginning, it sounded to me like somebody was trying to, to, you know. They didn't. She didn't even. As far as we know, I think the nine one one's cut off. I think it's always been cut off. Now somebody had said. As as we know I, there was no name that was mentioned. She didn't say it's Micah. Somebody said in the chat. Well, why was that? Why was there a help and all that stuff? That was added later, and we have no idea if that was somebody just, you know, spliced something at the end, um, because. According to the 911, the original 911 call, which we've all gotten through FOIA, it ends right there. So we cannot, you yeah. know, uh, say for sure that the end of that call was real. That's all. That's what I'm yeah. saying. But you know, some there was no say, name that was mentioned in it. So right there. Right. But so, somebody, somebody asked about the, the yelling for help and grab her arm and. Uh, that that was never proven that that was really part of the real 911 call. Yeah, that's just a because if it would be, I think Fitz News would have released it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. And one I mean, of the just, networks yeah. would have, yeah. So, uh, yeah, when it comes to that help and all that other stuff, yeah, in that video, you definitely hear somebody saying help, but at the same time. Mm -hmm. It, it, I, I think Fitz News. I mean, they're the ones that have been releasing a lot of this stuff uh, before anybody is Fitz News, and I think Fitz News would have released it, and you would see Fitz News have a video that shows the the recording of the help and, and all that other stuff. I don't hear it mm -mm. in this 911 call whatsoever. Mm -mm. 
So I think it was spliced on later. Yeah. If it's not if it's not uh coming from, you know, LE or whatever, well then I don't know if, how do you trust it, you know? <laughs> you have to take mm -hmm. things with a grain of salt sometimes. Right. Uh, because it sounds like it t could be too good to be true or, or whatever, so to speak. I don't know. I, I wanted to do that. I figured since we had those 911, we would go ahead and do, you know, a voice comparison. That was a great idea. I'm glad you, you know, when that. it <clears throat> Since we had those, there's st you know, it's a 911 call, so mm -hmm. it should be somewhat similar, mm -hmm. um, you know, if that's the case, so... I'm interested to know, like, how many people, you know, is that, is the 911, the last 911 call, Micah? <laughs> and I'm wondering how many people think it actually is. I thought it was AI at first, and now I think it's a different person. Well, there's voice modification. I think that's what they call it, which is really not AI. It's just somebody speaking, and then they mod have their some kind of modifier will change their voice. Now, can you change it to an actual person? I don't know. I really never looked into it. May maybe worth looking into. But somebody I remember saying in the chat, they thought it was voice modification. I don't know. I, huh. I just thought it was always uh, somebody that was trying to mimic or, you know, create an alibi or create an there event. Was, there was a, um, I don't want to say his name, but there was a content creator who showed that you could very easily do that. And he did it right in front of us. So it's oh, yeah. possible. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that video. Mm -hmm. That's why when I first came across that video, I still didn't feel like that's when I first said to people on the show, think about Kurt Cobain AI. That's when I started comparing yeah, to Kurt Cobain yeah, yeah. AI because I watched that video and I'm like, okay, but still, that's right. Where's the Kurt Cobain grasp, graspy? She would have it too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even with a modifier, see, AI would have had that rasp. They would have had the nasal. They would have had everything mm -hmm. because yeah. it would have been a copy, right, yeah. of her voice. But with modification, if you don't have that kind of vocal naturally, you're not going to be able to yeah. add that. Yeah, you need a, mm -hmm. nowadays you only need like a 30 second snippet of somebody's voice and they can pretty much recreate, mm -hmm. you know, whatever they want to now. It's pretty scary I know. what they can do with technology now. Indeed.